Hey guys, it's Noka Sims here and welcome back to my Overwatch build series. So in this one I am building a apartment for Widowmaker. Um, mostly because we have the new stuff pack and a lot of the stuff is not things that I would usually use. But it just made me think of Widowmaker for some reason. Um, so we found this nice apartment in Swallowed Up whatever the town is called I, I I'm not even gonna try um, but <laughs> we found this apartment and it's a two-story apartment which I thought would be perfect for the maker and I'm just trying out some stuff and seeing what I could do um, the apartment turns out to be very black and gold which is I guess a nice color combination I personally don't like gold that much. Um, I know there's other people that do but I'm not a big fan of gold so for me personally it's like uh, but I know there's people that will like it and I think it fits Widowmaker's personality so I guess that's all that really matters. Um, so we're starting with the kitchen because I always start with the kitchen really um, and you can see me already struggling with the colors. Um, all the different shades of like black and dark way that can be put in this game will be in this in this place um yeah it's it's something it's okay it's fine um and you can see me here um i done like a tiny room build with the stuff pack when it came out and i kind of built from there in terms of what i wanted to do so you'll see me just messing around and taking out different items from this pack um, but yeah again as you see you can yeah you can definitely see already it's very black and gold which is I don't know like it's a little bit weird because it's so dark but at the same time it kind of works because I do try to add some color and some lights and we do have the big windows that let in lots of light um, and I tried not to make all the walls black so we have like the black um, stone in the kitchen and we'll have black stone in the bathroom and we have this black uh, I'm not sure what to call it that's like the room divider wall I guess but the rest of them will be a light blue um, oh they already are a light blue I miss me changing that but that's okay um, just messing around with some different tables. I kind of wanted to go with something more traditional, but at the same time, I kind of really like the table from uh, City Living 2 with the glass in it, so I figured I'd go with that. Um, and I'm struggling so much here with trying to figure out what I wanted to put in here, um, but I think I make it work kind of. Before we had this kind of area be kind of a sitting area, which I wanted to keep, putting in some bookshelves um, you'll see me do that in a little bit because I really struggled with it <laughs> um, but I will keep that as kind of a sitting area where you can just sit and read and enjoy the view because you know apartments and the view from these places is really nice um, I was also struggling with this wall I end up putting in these um, what are technically like wall divider thingies but I put them in as a decoration and I put some windows, uh, windows, mirrors behind them. I, I don't know, I just felt like Widowmaker would have a lot of mirrors in a house. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but there you go. Um, and here I tried to make kind of a day bed area. I can just imagine her lying there and just lounging, taking a nap even maybe, I don't know. I don't think Widowmaker would take naps, but I can see her lying there just enjoying life, the sunlight, things like that. Um, yeah. And oh, I struggled. <laughs> I was trying to put in some kind of chair and I end up going with this, I, I'm not sure what to name this color, it's like a reddish pink, if that makes sense. Um, and that's basically where I start adding color because I realized, okay, I need more color in this place. It's very black and gold and some whites but we need more things in here so I start putting in some decorations with some color and you'll see me already 
use a filter to get all the kind of reddish pinkish um, purplish even stuff out just because I wanted to keep it simple and really sophisticated nothing too fancy um, I seem to be doing something else there it's okay um, looking at curtains already too um, yeah but this may this wall I didn't really know what to do with I think beforehand it had one of those um, things that you just saw me pull out kind of the white geometric whatever it is but instead I end up putting in that um, it's just a slogan who knows what it says um, but yeah I thought that would be cute I end up putting a desk underneath there because you'll see in a little while that that area is still a bit empty which I didn't like but yeah um, putting some of these I guess marble end tables side tables against the wall yeah words I can I can do words I promise <laughs> but yeah just trying to fit in some decorations and things to make it look like a home and not just a show home I suppose even if it's really fancy and sophisticated um, but yeah I really struggled with this because it's just it's not me at all um, I tend to build things that I would like myself because I do like a lot of different things but this would not be an apartment for me it's really pretty but it would not be for me um, just messing around here with the, some decorations and the, in the kitchen we needed some more stuff because you can see it's kind of blah but I'll make it work in the end just putting some stuff around the place putting in a I think a coffee maker I don't think I put in any other things I don't think I put in a microwave or anything but if you want to use those then you can put them in yourself of course um, just moving some things into the kitchen um, putting in some some color with the lights which I think was fun and here in the entrance way I, I needed something there I wasn't sure what to put in there but I think it works out just fine just as a something to have there and then as I said here I wanna have kind of a sitting area where, I can, where you can just enjoy the view or read a book and yeah, I think it worked out pretty well. I wanted to use these chairs from the Get to Work pack because I thought they fit Widowmaker's personality, even if it wasn't quite as fancy as I would have wanted it to be. I just figured it worked. Um, and you'll see me do the same thing as we did in the kind of dining area with the mirrors and the, I don't know, the wooden things in front of them. And I think it looks really cute. Um, putting in a light again, p putting it in pink to add some color, putting another mirror in because again I just felt like she would have lots and lots of mirrors around the place. Um, again trying to put in more color because it was still very black and gold so we're putting in some of these bookshelves, uh, not bookshelves, books on the bookshelves. Um, I'm putting them in different colors and using the ones with the decorations that came with both city living and the new luxury stuff pack. I forgot the name of the new stuff pack. I do so well. Um, but yeah, wow, this is that was really hard to follow. Um, I wanted to put a light above the day bed, but it wasn't really working. I don't think I left what left it there. And then we start with the bathroom, finally. Um, <laughs> it took me quite a while, as you can see, but yeah, I made it work. I remember that we had the new bathroom stuff from the city living pack and that some of it came with like a black and gold thing, which, I mean, th since that's apparently the team we're going with, I figured that we should just keep that going also in the bathroom. It will also kind of continue upstairs as well, so... It just made sense to me. Um, we used this bot from Spade though because that's my favorite bot in the game and the rest kind of just I don't like them I guess so I tend to use that all the time. Putting in some decorations because you need decorations I think. <coughs> and 
yeah, the bottom's quite simple, and it's very black and gold again. Just, it's apparently the color scheme for the entire apartment, which I think fits with Omega's personality, but I don't know, maybe it's a bit much. I don't know. It, that, that's up to you guys to decide, I suppose. Again, putting some decorations in because why not? And using the new stuff from the stuff pack worked so well. Again, the entire stuff pack just screamed with Omega to me, so I just went with it. <laughs> putting in another one of these chandeliers because they're kind of pretty. Um, and I felt like we needed some curtains of some sort. And you'll see me struggle with this for a while. But I think it kind of worked in the end. Um, but yeah. And here I put it in a desk because I realized, you know what? We should probably have a desk with some... With a PC on there because, I mean, we are in this day and age. And I suppose she would need a PC. So I ended up using this kind of again black and gold thing which seemed to work quite well putting a thingy next to it and because it's kind of like a butler's thing I end up putting up the thing the thing yes I, I use the word thing a lot <laughs> I'm sorry I end up putting in this I guess fake bar from the spa day stuff pack uh, not the stuff pack it's a game pack I think but yeah, so you can, I don't know, put a drink on there because that made sense because there was a um, butler's table that could supposedly be moved. And then I just put in some extra books because, again, just adding in that bit of color and detail that I thought we needed. And then we start upstairs, finally. Um, I should have probably done something more with the wallpapers in a bedroom. I realized when I was taking screenshots, but at the same time, eh, I kind of like it the way that it is. It ends up looking pretty nice, I think. But again, very black and gold. Though this one is, the, the, the bedroom has a bit more white, I think, which is quite nice. Um, just so that it's not too dark, because there's not quite as many windows. And of course, because it's Widowmaker, we have this really big kind of walking wardrobe. Sort of. I don't know if I should call it a walk-in wardrobe, but that's what it kind of is. So, um, yeah. Using these uh, closets from the City Living stuff pack. And then I put some mirrors behind it a little bit, which just kind of works in my opinion. And as you can see already, it's not quite as dark as some of the other things downstairs. Just putting in some more decorations here, and then putting in another kind of whatever these are called seats, <laughs> um, and putting a carpet on underneath it because I felt like we needed a carpet there. And then I think I put a plant in the corner, yeah, because it needed something there, and changing the light out because I didn't want to use just the spotlights. So we'll use another one of these chandeliers. Um, yeah, I, I've really gotten into the spirit of using lights as decorations, which I think is great. And then because we have so much space in the bedroom still, um, I put in another fireplace. I don't think Sen Machino or whatever it's called is that cold, but eh, it's, it's a nice fireplace. So we have another fireplace. And I considered using those couches, but the high back is really weird. So I ended up using these from the city living pack, which again, I just kind of felt fit in this place. I don't know, but yeah. Um, I wasn't sure what to do with this window because I couldn't use the same curtains as I used for the other windows, but instead I just put in some lines. They worked. <laughs> um, and I'm putting some decorations on the fireplace. And I think I put in another light, like so. Um, some more mirrors, because again, I felt like Widowmaker would have lots and lots of mirrors. And then we start with the upstairs bathroom, um, after I cheat in some more money, because 
we were pretty much out of money. Um, it's fairly similar to what it is downstairs because it just worked, if you ask me. So I decided not to change too much about it, except for the fact that this bathroom is quite a bit bigger to the point where I was kind of like, uh, there's too much space for me to fill up. I tried putting in a hot tub, but they're, they're just too big. <laughs> um, the room isn't quite that big, so yeah, it, it works. I think it works. Putting in one of those fancy toilets again and another kind of divider to block it off. Um, and I put two showers together so that it kind of looks like it's like double shower, even though it's not. Um, you won't be able to use them but there will only be one that's usable, but I just wanted it to look really fancy. <laughs> um, and again, using lights as decorations. And then just putting some small things here in the hallway because I needed something. More mirrors. Um, and I put in a painting, I think, that I size up. And then that will be it, I think. I just changed the color of the lights that came from the movie stuff back because they're always very bluish. And yeah, these are the screenshots. So again, not quite my style and something very different from what I would usually build, but I think it really fits with a maker's personality. Um, so as always, if you want to download this, there will be a link, or at least two links for both of the levels down in the description. And that's it. So I will talk to you next time. Bye guys. Bye guys.